Chris, how did you view the result and the way you played yesterday? Uh, yeah, it was pretty good, I suppose. We, we got the got the win. A um, few things wish I wasn't really impressed about, but you know, just work through them now and um, put a few things in place that don't happen again and uh, be better for this weekend. What what was he happy with? Uh, a few discipline things that went on the fifties and a few free kicks that we turned over. I think Coxie turned over one, so he wasn't impressed with that. And I suppose there's a few uh, a few other little issues throughout the game, but. Overall, it was a pretty, pretty good win. They're pretty easy things to rectify, do you think, the, the free kicks in the 50 minute penalty? Yeah, I think so. I think it's been a massive issue for us um, during the year or at any stage um, the last few years. So, yeah, I think we'll be all right. There's no bigger stage than taking on Collingwood in a big game that decides maybe the outcome of finals, etc. cetera. Uh, are you excited about the opportunity this weekend? Yeah, definitely. It's a massive challenge to come up against the the other side that's Collingwood and they're in really hot form so that they got knocked off last week but I'm sure they'll be you know pretty keen to undo that and come over here pretty you know ready to go so we've got to be um, right on top of our game. How do you see their form? I mean the game on the weekend was a bit of a surprise the result. Yeah no they've been really good um, play a really good brand of footy so we've got to be right on top of our game and playing our best footy to, to beat them and I'm sure we can do that. Um, I, I haven't personally, just playing the game that, that's at hand that week, but I'm, I'm, maybe the coach has been thinking about it, but yeah, it's just it's the fixture, we've got, we've got to play the finish off the year with these two teams, probably the two favourites for the flag, so if we knock them off, you know, we become that favourite, I suppose. How much improvement, Chris, is in the side from what we've seen in the last couple of weeks? I think a lot of improvement. We've got Joshy back, hopefully, this week, and he makes a massive difference to our side. Um, I'm sure most of the forward line players are, you know, you know, welcoming him back because then that means us they get one, you know, one defender down the rung, I suppose. So um, that makes a massive difference, and also a few other little tweaks that we, we can uh, imply in our game. I'm sure would be much better. There's a lot of talk that Josh is uh, the sort of person that actually lifts the playing group when he's out there. Does he have that sort of presence about? Yeah, I, su I suppose he does. He's such a big character and big dude, so um, definitely. The boys love him as well, so they will get around him. And um, I don't know if we lift the whole playing group, but um, you know, just definitely give us a little bit of a plus going into the four line. Do you get the feeling that one game in the waffles enough for him? Like everyone talks about how fit he is and what a great engine it is. It? It's yeah. the time just to bring him straight in there. Yeah, I think so. He's he's got a massive tank as it is, um, and I think one game's fine. You know, he's he jump in, he sit in the goal square, and we'll kick it on his head. Have <laughs> you seen him today, though, Master? Is he? Up all right, you know? Yeah, I think he put up right. I bumped into him in corridors before. He seemed fine, so he's pretty chirpy as well. So I think he's keen. What's the knock-on effect, Chris, for guys like Jack Darling and Quinton Lynch getting Josh back in the team? Yeah, that, that's already positive for them. Um, they, you know, obviously, you get one worse defender, or well, not worse, but not as good. So, so um, yeah, I think they'll they'll be welcoming that, and um, you know, really, I suppose they can just really show what they can do on, on you know a lesser de lesser defender. So I think they're looking forward to it. Brad Dick uh, has been impressive coming off a really big game. Could it be a bit of a fairy tale return? I know he's got to be upgraded and all that sort of stuff, but against his old side on the big stage, is he ready to go, do you think? Yeah, I think he's definitely ready to go. Dickie's um, very popular around the playing group and had a massive game on the weekend, and I think he's been in pretty good form um, since he's been, been back the whole time. So, um, you know, not sure what's going to happen if he gets a chance, but if he does, um, I'm, I'm sure he'll love to play against Collingwood, and um, he's pretty excitable. So, you've definitely seen him with a smile on his face. Bit of an X factor for you, maybe just someone around the goals along with Josh that can add some spark. Yeah, I think so. He's, he's got plenty of pace and um, can kick goals from nowhere, so that'd be pretty cool. You think Adam Selwood will play? He looked pretty sick. Yeah. I, I think he pulled up fine. He was he was fine even at half time. I saw him when he seemed to ride. I think he's a little bit dazed, but um, yeah, I think he'd be right. Chris, could Josh and Brad Pitt play on the same side, Josh? Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Hilly can play, doesn't have to play tall. Hilly can play small as well. So he, he was playing half foot a little bit on the weekend, so that would, he'll be fine. Joshy comes. You're getting caught yourself, kicking up another couple of goals on the weekend? Yeah, it's, um, yeah, it's been good. Got a couple on the board, and just handy that they went through the middle and they weren't points, cause, and they're just two points. Yeah. <laughs>